Not all of the temples in the land of Angkor were built by majesties or royal highnesses, but some of other temples were legacies built by governors as well. Among the temples that were constructed by the governors in the 10th century, the two most noticeable temples are Bunti Srai and Krovan. The Krovan Temple is a sacred sanctuary dedicated for Hinduism in 921 AD. It was constructed during King Hasan Vormyakte period by a high-ranking general by the name Srai Mahai Tore Vormya to honor Vishnu, the preserver and protector of the universe. The Grovan Temple also incorporated limestones into the construction process as it was seen on the colonnade, blind door, lintel and etc. Moreover, by examining the remaining carvings, the infrastructure also tells us that the temple is unfinished. Among all of the temples that were built of clay, Grovan is such a special piece of architecture due to the fact that it is built on a flat plain and has five towers symmetrically lined up next to one another. Most importantly, pictures and illustrations were carved directly onto the temple, which means mortars were not used to secure or add on top of the carvings like other temples did. Furthermore, the sculptures, carving, and statues on this particular temple are preciously detailed and timeless. According to the archaeological experts, it is found that the artists use colors to highlight the images as well. Out of the five towers, the middle and the furthest northern towers had the most interesting sculptures and statues. First of all, if we take a look in the middle tower, we can see an individual statue of Vishnu standing almightily. Whereas to the northern wall of the very same tower displayed a statue of Vishnu standing over a Guruda. Then the western wall displayed a statue of Vishnu with eight arms extended outward and smaller statues behind him. In addition, we can see a picture of a crocodile on top of his head. Did the Ingorian artists understand the meaning of crocodiles to the mystical animal name Makra in Sanskrit language? Nevertheless, images of crocodiles were occasionally imprinted onto the temple surfaces during the Angkor period to tell the story of Hindu gods. We can find illustrations of the crocodiles on certain places, such as Kbaspian Park, Thomanun Temple, Bantie Samraya Temple, and Mongolib Temple. If we look onto the southern wall of the middle tower again, we can see a sculpture of Vishnu with both of his legs further apart from each other. This sculpture was made according to the legendary tale. The legend has it that Vishnu avatar Trivikram transformed himself into a priest asking for a piece of land worth three paces from Pili, who is an arrogant giant that claimed the entire world to himself and chased all humans away. Next, onto the furthest northern tower, we can see that there are many princesses statues located inside. Thankfully, most of them are still in a good condition. Out of all the statues, the one located on the southern wall was identified to be Princess Turkia Tepi. The CA abbreviation is shortcut for Conservation Dongko, which symbolizes the meaning of conserving the Inko Park. The term can be seen on concretes that were used to replace broken or damaged parts of the temples in the 1960s. These concretes also reserved some rooms or holes inside of them so that it can be filled 
with cement. Ever since Angkor Wat had registered into the world's heritage, Grovan Temple got restored and repaired as well by both international organizations and local authorities. However, despite being so near to the Angkor Wat Temple and containing spectacular history and carvings, Grovan Temple is substantially underrated. It receives less visitors and attention if compared to other temples in the region. <laughs>